My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're doing well. What I have here are two chairs from Helinox. These are the chair ones. A viewer sent these in to me. One for my wife, one for me. Thank you so much, buddy. Mike, you're the man. I appreciate you big time. He sent these in so that we could review these products. So for about a year now, Susie and I, we've been testing out these chairs and we like them a lot. But with that being said, there are some cons, there's some points to consider before you go out to purchase one of these products. In this episode, we're going over the functions, features of these chairs. I will share with you my thoughts, my pros and cons. That's what this episode is all about and it begins right now. As you can see here, my friends, we have a black one. We also have a multi-cam one. Now, this chair comes in numerous colors. You can get multi-cam, you can get black, coyote brown. You can get like a tie-dye color, a blue color, red, green, and so on. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's set up one of these chairs. Now, before we do, let's talk about the pack dimensions here. The chair is 13 and a half inches long, four and a half inches wide, and it has a depth of three and a half inches. Looking at the features, grab handle, grab handle, you have some webbing on this side. You have a single zip here, a YKK zipper, very smooth. As I'm pulling out the components here, you can see how much space there is with the bag itself. There's quite a bit of space here. It easily encompasses the chair and the frame itself. In other words, it's easy to put the chair in there and get it out. This is the frame. And it goes together just like any other foldable chair. As I'm setting this up, you will notice, hey, that looks exactly like every other foldable chair out on the market today. Well, there's a good reason for that. All of those other chairs are based upon the design of this chair. This is the OG right here. This is the original. All the other companies basically copied their designs off of this one chair. So with the frame here, this is made from aluminum. You have some plastic hardware as well, and you have these feet here. Now the company does have feet accessories to prevent the chair from like sinking into the dirt, into the soft soil. And you also get the backing and the seat. So just like all other chairs, basically this goes over the frame itself. You have a sleeve in each corner, and that goes over the frame in each corner. Just like that, everyone, the chair is set up. This, my friends, is the chair set up. This chair features a weight capacity of 320 pounds. It has a five-year warranty. And when it comes to the dimensions, you're looking at a chair that is 25 and a half inches tall. It is 19 and a half inches wide, and the seat depth is 20 inches. From the bottom of the chair to the ground, that's 10 and a half inches. The weight of this chair is two pounds, two ounces. And that's with the storage bag. The design of this chair came out in roughly 2012, and at that time, it was the only foldable chair out on the market like this. It was incredibly lightweight, it was very strong. There was nothing out there that really competed with this product. If you're not familiar with Helinox, this is a Korean company that produces a number of outdoor products, including chairs, cots, tables, and so on. While they are a South Korean company, they do have an office in San Francisco. So they do have a presence here in the United States. They are known for making high quality products, at a price, that's the thing, at a price. When it comes to this chair and the quality of it, let's go ahead and talk about the materials for a second. Basically what you're looking at is the best of the best. You have YKK zippers, an aluminum frame, and you have basically a nylon back. Now, unfortunately, that's all that I can say when it comes to the materials because the company is not specific about them. They do not state the denier of the nylon here. Now, with that being said, I could tell from just simply feeling this material, it is a very high quality, high denier, it's a very good product, there's no doubt about that. The quality of this chair is excellent. The stitch work is excellent. The frame is very sturdy, and that's what I would expect from a Helinox product. Let's talk about cost. The cost of this chair is $110. $110 for this chair. While looking at the front of this chair, you can see that it's very simple in terms of design. Basically a square shape, you have mesh on the back, fabric on the sides, you have a little bit of mesh down here, and here on the sides, there are no pockets. Nothing like that. There's no Velcro placement for patches or anything. I'd like to focus your attention to the corners. Here, here, there, and there. In each of the corners, you have some foam. And basically, that goes over the frame right here. That way, when you're sitting in the chair, you don't feel that frame at all. It's nice and comfortable. If you didn't have these padded sections, without a doubt, you would feel the frame behind it. Going back to the company for a second, this is just one chair out of many that Helinox makes. They actually have three different categories of chair. The chair one falls into the lightweight category. And is it lightweight? Yes, it is. Is it ultralight? 
No, it's not. I'd like to take a second here and compare the Helinox Chair 1 to some other chairs that are out on the market. This is the Helinox Chair 1, right? This is the Sportnir folding chair. This is the One Tigress folding chair. What do these chairs have in common? Just about everything. The measurements for each one of these chairs is just about the same. The weight is just about the same. The weight limits are just about the same. The prices are drastically different. So let's go ahead and let's set up these chairs real quick. And we'll talk about that. Now we have the Sportnir chair. With these three chairs side by side, you can see that the dimensions are pretty much the same. The weight is pretty much the same. There are some differences when it comes to the materials, but in the end, these chairs are almost identical. The weight limit on this one, 330. 320 for the Helinox, 330 for the Sportnir, $60 for the One Tigress, 110 for the Helinox, $30 for the Sportnir. Before going any further, my friends, we might as well begin with the pros and cons for this chair, the chair one. So let's start with the pros. First off, the quality of this chair is excellent. I mentioned this before, you're talking about the best of the best in terms of materials. The stitching is excellent. The quality all around is excellent. When you handle this product, you could say, hey, I can see the value in this. Everything feels good, it feels strong. This chair is easy to set up, but it could be a little bit easier. It's fairly easy to break down, but it could be easier. It is without a doubt very comfortable to sit in. This is the perfect height for the average individual. If you're super tall, you may want something that's a little bit bigger, a little bit higher off the ground, but for most people, this works just fine. When you consider the purpose of this chair, it works. This chair is meant for backpacking, right? It's made for camping. So it can't be too big, it can't be too heavy. I really do appreciate the fact that the company offers this chair in numerous colors. You could basically find the color that suits you, and I like that. That's not the case with a lot of companies here. Without a doubt, this chair works perfectly for camping, backpacking, you can even use it for overlanding. Because it's such a small form factor, it fits inside of your backpack, it's fairly easy to take with you. While not being super, super heavy, two pounds, it's a little bit of weight, but it's not bad. There are, without a doubt, heavier chairs out there. And at the same time, there are lighter chairs out there, but you're gonna pay a lot more. Next up, the weight limit is very good, 320 pounds, that's right in line with all the other chairs out on the market. And lastly, everyone, the storage bag is a good size for the chair. Again, it's easy to get the chair out and also back into that storage bag. Now let's move over to the cons. So a small con that I have for this chair is this. When it comes to putting the frame into this sleeve and also taking it out, it can be a little bit of work. It's not super, super easy. And that's because there is nothing to hold on to here. You have to kind of grab it and muscle it in and then kind of pull it out at the same time. It could be easier. That is an aspect to this chair that disappoints me somewhat because there is a simple solution for this. All you have to do is put a simple pull tab in each of the corners and it makes setting up the chair and taking it apart super simple. I've made this recommendation to other companies before. In fact, I made this recommendation to One Tigress. They didn't do it. I made this recommendation to Sportnir. They did it. Their latest, newest version of this chair features pull tabs. And guess what? It works wonderfully. It does. This chair has been out on the market for so long, it's amazing to me that they haven't adopted that feature because it makes a lot of sense. It makes setting up the chair and breaking it down simpler. Moving on to a bigger con for this chair, and that's price. $110 for a chair that does absolutely nothing different than these two. Uh, yeah, that's a tough pill to swallow. It really is. This chair here, is $30. This is the old version. There's a newer version that has the pull tabs. But anyways, $30 for this chair. It does everything this chair does. The One Tigress chair, 60 bucks. Top notch materials, excellent quality, very, very strong. It does everything this chair does and more. On the sides of this, we have pockets. Yes, they're not the most useful, but they are there. At least the company is adding features. Those are the two cons that I have for this chair. One small, one rather big. Now let's summarize everyone. The chair one, my friends, is an excellent product. Is it worth the money? I would say yes, but you have to keep this in mind. And I touched upon this earlier. This chair came out in roughly 2012. Since that point in time, there's plenty of competitors out there. This is $110. This is 30 bucks. This is $60. The Helinox chair does absolutely nothing different. And that's a little bit of a shame because all of these other companies are advancing forward. 
whereas Hillinox is staying the same. They haven't made any improvements. So you have a decision to make. You have to think about this. Which chair do you go with? What company do you want to support? Do you want to support the OG? Do you want to save a ton of money and go with a lesser quality chair? Without a doubt, when it comes to these chairs, the Hillinox and the One Tigress, I would say are tied in terms of quality. I think the overall aesthetics of this chair, it looks a little bit better. All of the seam work is very symmetrical, top and bottom. It looks really, really good. So as far as overall quality goes, I would say Hillinox is number one. One Tigress is number two. It's a very close number two. The Sportnir chair, it's last. This is $30. So there's some loose threads on the chair. There's some loose threads on the storage bag. That makes sense because it's so inexpensive. For $110, I would not expect to see that and I don't see that. For $60, I would expect some loose threads, but guess what? There aren't any. So again, everyone, if you need a foldable chair, you have to consider your options. What do you go with? Hillinox, Sportnir, One Tigress, or one of the other 500 companies out there that basically have copied this design. And that right there takes me to a point where I could wrap up this episode. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about the chair one? What do you all think about these competitors? Which chair would you personally go with? There's a time and a place for each one of these chairs. And it ultimately boils down to like, what do you personally want to spend, right? What do you feel comfortable with? $110. $30, $60. Before you go, make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. You can support The Outdoor Gear Review on Patreon or on YouTube. It is appreciated. The Outdoor Gear Review is agenda free. I'm not trying to sell products. I'm here to share information. Michael, my friend, thank you so much for supplying these chairs. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much. You're the man. Everyone, I'm done for now. Strength and honor. See ya.